Hello, I'm Ben, and I'm going to walk through real quick how to set up and employ the Virtual Saber Box. So, first thing you want to do is you want to load in, log in to uh, Google Colab. It'll be brought to a screen like this, kind of a welcome screen. Click on GitHub. We then want to go to Ben Cone 2004. And we want to use the Saber Box repository. And we're going to use, in this case, Virtual Saber Box Compact. So virtual saver box is pretty much the same thing. Functionally, same thing. So then we find ourselves with this Google Colab notebook. So first thing we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to run it. There's three basic ways to run it. One is through a YouTube link. One is by running the entire sync folder. And the other is running uh, just the most recent file in the sync folder. So you want to have one of these true, the other two false. So use YouTube link. And then this is the YouTube link that it's going to go. It's just linked to a uh, fencing clip on YouTube, and specifically it's going to start at time 147. That's in seconds. So we have this. We go run time, uh, run all. Uh, not authored by Google, it's true. Google by, authored by me. And then once it starts running, it's going to ask you to authorize your Google account, which we will click, sign into our account, sign in, gives us a little code, we'll copy and paste it, kapow. And now at this point, it's just kind of going to think for a while. So what it's going to be doing is we have, um, there's a bunch of initial parameters here. You can change this as you want. Um, and then it's going to import, do a bunch of imports. And then it's going to uh, clone from various bots. This is uh, going to be for YOLO v4. You only look once, the fourth version. And then it's going to get some models, some other files that we need. And it's going to assemble everything and just kind of get everything set up before it starts analyzing the clip. So I'll let it fast forward through this part. Excellent. So now it looks like it's actually analyzing the clip. Scroll down here a little bit. It shows you it's analyzing it. And it's creating a video file and should be done. All right, so now we'll go look at our Google Drive. So you go to your Google Drive. You can see that if you didn't have a sync folder already, it made one. Uh, and if these two folders didn't exist, it'll create it. You can see down here, it downloaded the clip. And this is the uh, title of the clip from the, from the YouTube. And if we look at tracked clips, this is the clip that was analyzed. So if we go back, we can download the clip that it analyzed. So this right here is a clip. Yep, it's pretty good. And then the tracked clip, the one that's actually going to give us the um, right of way is this one. And we can look at this clip right here. See, it's tracking, and it says right touch. All right, so pretty good, All right? Very nice. So now, let's look at a different way of analyzing clip. I'm going to delete these. So we go back up to the top, and we're going to change this from running, uh, from using a YouTube link, and we'll use it to run most recent clip. So run most recent clip is useful if, um, you want to have like a webcam set up and the export for the webcam is just to a file that syncs with your Google Drive. And if it syncs to your Google Drive, basically once you do a clip with the webcam, it'll save that clip up to your Google Drive. The Google Colab notebook will detect that there's a new file in there and then it'll automatically analyze that new file. And that way, when you're fencing, you can just do click click to start and stop your webcam and it'll automatically queue the files and analyze them as it goes. So it's going to 
this it's going to basically take a little bit to set up because I just restarted everything, erased everything. And it's going to wait till it comes back down here, and it'll tell us that it's ready for a file, and then we'll put one in. Specifically, we'll put down the one we just downloaded. So give this a sec and kind of fast forward through these. All right, so now it looks like we're analyzing the clip. Yep, analyzing the clip. And waiting for a new file. So not yet analyzing the clip, waiting for file. So we have our sync folder here. We go over, grab our clip. Drag the clip that we just downloaded from the previous uh, iteration we ran it. Put it over here. This is the uh, same one. It's loading it in. Then we go back to our Google Colab. So it said waiting for file. It just detected that the file was in there. Automatically started analyzing it. And now you can see down here, it finished analyzing. It says waiting for a new file again. So we go back to our sync folder, go to tracked clips, and here we go. Here is our tracked clip again. Should be similar to what we found last time, ideally. Whoop, make it big, and go. Yep, and it still says right touch. Interesting, I think it's more confident this time. Boom, okay. So there we go. And we'll clip. So now this time, we're going to go back to this. We'll do interrupt execution because this will just continue running on forever. Because um, it's basically just waiting for a new file. And this time, we're going to just get rid of the two folders that have uh, the acceleration folder and the tracked clip. And we're just putting in our blank clip here. So now we just have a clip and we're going to run the entire folder. If it had multiple clips in there, it just run them all sequentially and just create the tracked uh, video files. Um, but since we only have one file, it's just going to run the entire folder, which is IE1. So put one of these as false, run time, restart and run all. Same thing here, starts running. And it takes a while for it to initially get up and going. But once everything is loaded in, it takes about six seconds per clip. And the clips I have are usually two to four seconds in length because they're usually actions within the middle without blade action. So, right here, we'll fast Ah, excellent. Let's see. Ran through. Did it even finish? Nope, still analyzing the clip. Right through the clip. Bump, bump, bump. All right, should have finished the clip. Go over to our sync folder now in our Google Drive. So now we have these two folders again. They're recreated download our video clip there it is click to open take a look see what we got and so again have the same clip and tracking and excellent it gives us the same result as right touch all right so that is basically the three ways that you can run the uh, virtual saber box and basically how you can use it to interact with it to get uh, calls from uh, saber actions. So hope that helped. Enjoy. See you next time.